Hi, my name's Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. This video is an excerpt from our upcoming course for the AWS Certified Solutions Architects Associate Certification that is made up almost entirely of hands-on labs. Over 20 hours of practical exercises to give you the knowledge and experience to pass your exam. I hope you enjoy the video and for more information about our courses, check out our social media. Hi guys, in this lab, we're going to create a Kinesis stream. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Lambda function and we're gonna create an event source mapping such that when we put items into the stream, Lambda is polling the stream and it finds that there's a new entry and then it runs the function. And the function will simply write an event to CloudWatch logs. So if you'll remember from the Lambda section of the course, when it comes to stream-based services like Kinesis and DynamoDB, the event source mapping is configured on the Lambda side, not on the stream side. So that's the opposite to a bucket, for instance, in S3, where you configure the event source mapping on the bucket. So it will be the Lambda function that does the polling, and we're gonna upload some records into a stream, Lambda's gonna execute and write an event to CloudWatch logs. So let's get over to the console. Now, what we're going to be doing today is following a tutorial from AWS. So again, guys, this is to make things easy so that you guys can recreate what I'm doing. I don't want things to be too complex and you guys to have problems. So what we're going to do, first thing, we need to go to IAM and we need to create the execution role. So let's just open up IAM. So I'm in IAM. I'm going to go to roles, create role we're going to choose Lambda, and then we're going to choose Next. And what we want to find is the AWS Lambda Kinesis execution role. So there we go, we can just attach this role. Let's click Next. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paste in the name for the role which AWS suggested. So that's lambda-kinesis-role, and we're gonna create the role. And what we're gonna do now is go over to the command line. And the first thing I need to do, and by the way, I've just created a directory called Kinesis, so I've just created it in my documents folder. Just create yourself a directory so you can put your files in here. And what we're going to do is we need to create an index.js file. So I'm gonna do nano index.js and I now need to paste in some code. And I can see I've missed a letter at the beginning there, so let's just put that in. It shouldn't be capitals, so it's just backspace there, console. And I'm just going to save this file. So I now have my index.js file. I then need to run zip, function.zip, and then supply the name of that index file. So we now have our function.zip and our index.js. The next thing we need to do is run a command that's gonna create our function. And to do that, we need to get the ARN of our Lambda role that we created. So let's just go back and we can choose our role and I'm gonna copy the ARN to my clipboard. I'm now going to run this command, which is AWS Lambda create function. I'm gonna give it the name process kinesis records I'm gonna supply the file, the zip file that we just created, function.zip. The handler is index.handler. This is a Node.js function, and then I'm giving it the role. So let's just hit enter. And now let's head back over to the console, and let's go into Lambda and see if we've got our function created. And there's our process kinesis records function. We now want to test our function. So let's head back over to the console. We're going to create a file called input.txt. So I'm gonna run nano input.txt. I'm gonna paste in my code and I'm going to save the code. We're now going to run a command to invoke the function with the, with the payload file, so the input test file that we just created. So we've got a status code 200, so that looks good. The next thing we want to do is create our Kinesis stream. So we can run the command AWS Kinesis create stream 
stream name and we're giving it the name lambda dash stream and we're just going to have one shard. If we want to see the stream details, we can run this command, AWS Kinesis describe stream, and we give it the stream name. And this will also give us the ARN, which we're going to need shortly. Let's just have a quick look in the console to see our stream. I'm going to go to Kinesis, and under data streams, sure enough, we've got our Lambda stream. So that all looks good. We now need to create our event source mapping and there's a rather long command to do this. So it's AWS Lambda, create dash event dash source dash mapping. We supply the function name, our event source, which is the ARN for our Lambda stream, which we just got from this output up here. And then give it a batch size of 100 and a starting position of latest. So let's hit enter. You may have noticed an error there. So let's just head back and what I need to do is I haven't copied the full ARN. So I'm just gonna backspace away here. And what I need is the full ARN, so I missed out that first bit. So let's copy that, and then paste that in, and hit enter. And let's head back over to Lambda. And have a look at our function. And sure enough, we now have an event source mapping here. And we can see we have a problem here. It says the function's not found in the database. Now, I think this is because I've created this before while I was preparing for this lab. But let's have a look at how we can troubleshoot this. So we can see that the output here actually said mapping already exists. Let's run AWS Lambda list dash event dash source dash mappings and we can see that there's a couple of event source mappings here and what I want to do I don't need either of these and there's been a conflict so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these event source mappings and I can just run the command delete event dash source dash mapping and then I need to give the UUID so I do dash dash UUID and I'm going to copy this one here and paste it. And then I'm going to do the same for the other UUID. So I'm just going to backspace out, copy this one. And let's go back and list event source mappings. And we don't have any anymore. So I'm going to go and see if I can rerun. Now, before I do that, I'm going to rerun the command. But before I do that, I just want to go over to Lambda. And let's go outside of this function and just want to go back in and see if it's gone. So the trigger has gone, so that's good. Now let's go back and try and recreate our event source mapping. Okay, now that looks a bit better. So let's head over to the console. And again, I'm just going to refresh. And we've got our event source mapping. And this time we don't have any issues. It just says last processing result, no records processed. So we're back on track. So let's head back over to the console. And what we're going to do now is actually put a record into the stream. So we're in the console and I'm going to run this command, AWS Kinesis put record, and then I give it the stream name, the partition key, and some data. And it just says, hello, this is a test. So we're going to run that. And then let's just go in and change this to, this is another test. So we've sent a couple of records into the stream. So what should happen now, according to our diagram, is we've uploaded those records, they've gone into the stream, Lambda should have pulled the stream, and then written an event to CloudWatch Logs. So let's head over, and we're going to have a look in CloudWatch Logs. Back in the Lambda console, let's go to Monitoring, and View Logs in CloudWatch. And so we've got this log stream, let's open it up, and there's a few messages in here. And we can see here the payload, this is a test. And we can see here, this is another test. So that was a very simple lab just to show how you can integrate between Lambda and Kinesis streams. And of course, with those functions, you could do all sorts of things to your data. All we've done is written a log to CloudWatch logs. So let's close this lab down. And what we can do is go into Kinesis streams 
and delete our stream. And we can go to Lambda and delete our function. And that's it guys, hope you had some fun. See you in the next lab.